I could tell you guys stories of me quitting. You know, there was one time I came back from the UCLA track and I was working on a bunch of US track guys. And I left there from being there from six in the morning till noon with $20 in my hand. And I'd done that a dozen times. And I'm thought, what kind of idiot am I? Like, why am I doing this? And I think entrepreneurs, you're gonna have those conversations with yourself. And you have to find something that pushes you through those. And luckily for me, the thing that pushed me through is every time I used this on someone, they were so gracious. Like, oh my God, that feels so good. When can I have it again? And I thought, I can't quit. I come home, I, I was pissed off because I'd only made $20 and I thought I can't pay my bills, rent, kids, all that. And I swore at this thing and I put it in a box and I put it in my closet in my, in my kitchen. And I'm like, F you, I'm done. I'm gonna go back to being a chiropractor. Two days later, a guy who's now a really good friend of mine knocks on my door. I live in Manhattan Beach. To get to my door, you have to know where I live. I mean, yeah. you have to walk behind a house and down this path. And sure. I'm in the bathroom and my daughter comes in and says, dad, there's a guy at the door. I'm like, who, who, what guy? He's like, I don't know, he's asking for you. I come out and this guy's standing there. I'm like, hey, and he goes, Dr. J. I was like, yeah. He said, I'm down on the beach training Alex Rodriguez and we lost somehow one of the batteries in the sand and we can't find it. And I Googled you and your house happened to be right here. You happen to have a battery? And I was like, are you kidding me? I just swore this thing away and now Alex Rodriguez wants a battery. That's amazing. So it, I could tell you little stories like that where the universe sort of nudged me like, hey, you can't drop this. And I'm being real about that. There, there were many times where there was another power that just said, you can't leave this. So I don't think anyone that starts any business is expecting it to be easy, but I also didn't understand how hard it was going to be. Oh man. I really love that. I really, I, I love, this is exactly why we started this podcast for these conversations. And I think very few people are, they don't want to talk about imposter syndrome. They don't want to talk about the times they almost walked away and, and they had someone important nudge them, whether it's you know, someone showing up at your door or a parent or an investor or just someone at the very last day of you closing down is a, such a fan of your product and calls you and says, hey, are you looking for investors? I'm willing to put in 50,000, you know? And at that time, it's everything. It's everything that you need to say, I knew I wasn't delusional. I knew it, I knew it. I had this <laughs> feeling and now I have to continue. I think that is, there's two things when people ask me how I was able to get through this, it was, persistence consistency and delusion yeah <laughs> i believe that this was going to be everywhere in the world how would you rank those out of all three of those <laughs> I, I honestly it's a rotating list <laughs> you know in the morning sometimes it's just consistency i i, I have to do this routine uh, you know when i'm standing at a nhl one of the first nhl summer conferences i went to and i'm the only person with we're standing there with Cutter, one of my good friends and, and our, the VP of the company. And we're standing there at the NHL conference summer meetings with this brand new tool and people are laughing at us. You have to be delusional. You have to kick in. That's what's got to be the first. So I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't think of those things consciously. I did think of consistency and persistence. I knew those two things would happen. I just realized later on I was delusional. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.